Hello, good morning, sir. I'm Shankar. I'm second year biotechnology student. I have doubt. I, uh, basically, I'm a Hindu and uh, I'm claiming myself to be a vegetarian, let to keep like that. I have friends in all religions and when we go out to a hotel, or, okay, all my friends eat non veg. But my Islam friends ask specifically whether, whether some halal was done for it. Now, my question is. Eating non-veg, I'm not saying it is wrong or right because I, I'm not uh, fit to talk about it. What I'm asking is, what is the purpose of doing that particular thing, halal? That is, what difference is it, it is going to make for that life which is being slain and eaten? Is all life equal or not? Thank you, sir. Okay, thanks for your question. Uh, it is a question worth answering I think it's in the minds of a number of people actually I've heard it before a number of times uh, what is the basic principle here the principle that God has submitted the creation to us God as a gift from himself has submitted the creation to us whether the vegetable kingdom which contains life or the animal kingdom which contains life now when that life is taken by the permission of God it should be done in a respectable way it should be done in the name of God so Muslims when taking the life of an animal say Bismillah in the name of Allah recognizing that this animal came from God giving thanks to God that he has the authority to take this life so that permission from God that authority places that meal or that meat in a particular category which is the edible category so the principle of halal with regards to meat is taking the life of the animal in accordance with the instructions of God, mentioning the name of God and giving thanks to God. So it has, you could say, a religious element as opposed to just a physical act like going to the bathroom or something. You just kill the animal no we recognize that it is a special circumstance is that clear could I say something about yes uh, next yes. question You're gonna could, add on? could I say something about this subject his answer is perfect that's all you asked and that's all he gave you but when I got to Islam I saw something amazing and it's in the Quran talking about when you slaughter animals and what's permissible and what's not because you use the word halal and I want to just clarify for the benefit of those who may be listening to this in the future that this word halal is an Arabic word it means permissible as opposed to the opposite which would be haram which means not permissible and there's a verse in the Quran there are a number of them dealing with the subject of food not the least of which that Allah says to us about this what is permissible or forbidden Hurimat alaykum. Forbidden to all of you is the food which is al meta, which is dead animals, something that already died. Blood, the flesh of the swine or the pig. And anything upon which Allah's name has not been mentioned while slaughtering. And that which has been killed by strangling or by a violent blow or falling from a headlong position or being gored to death by horns and that which is partly eaten by a wild animal unless you're able to do the slaughter while it's still alive and that which is sacrificed and this is what I wanted to mention that which is sacrificed on Nusub uh, uh, which is the pro it's talking about the altars the false gods altars that people lay things on and offer it to their god of the sun or the moon or whatever it's also forbidden to use arrows seeking luck or decision and this is fisk or disobedience to a law. 
So this day, those who disbelieved have given up all hope of your religion, so don't fear them, but fear me. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my nama of my favor upon you, and I have chosen for you to submit to me in al-Islam as your way of life. But as for him who is forced by severe hunger, with no inclination to sin, surely Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. The thing that I wanted to mention about this is that it clearly states for us that we must mention the name of Allah at the time of slaughter. There is a lot of rules, a lot of rules about slaughtering any animal. Again, it shows us what we've been talking about throughout our exhibition. Islam is based on two very beautiful principles, rights and limitations. There are rights, but there are limits. You have the right to take a life, but only under some very special limits. And if it's not according to that, it's haram, not permissible for you. And likewise, the methodology for the slaughter must not just be to walk up and take a hammer and beat him in the head, which he just explained in his book. Instead, the methodology is the animal is laid on its side, then you feel for the certain point in the neck, the blade is kept out of sight, and it's razor sharp. And I've done many slaughters myself, and I know it's so sharp, it can take your finger off and you wouldn't even know it. Then you place the blade by his neck and say, Bismillah. And then you allow him to just lay there. He doesn't realize he, what's going on. He doesn't feel anything. He begins to just lose consciousness because he's not getting oxygen to the brain. He falls asleep. And that's all that happens. Now that's the method behind it. It has the least amount of poisons and adrenaline throughout the blood. And it's the easiest way for him to pass away. And then you're able to eat the meat because you have asked Allah to bless it by your saying Bismillah at the time or the pronouncement at the time of his the slaughter. Additionally, we should keep in mind that this is something from Allah. If you choose not to eat meat, that's your choice. But don't make that your religion because Allah didn't make that your religion. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not eat meat every day anyway. He didn't do that. He also didn't do what all of us do. He didn't eat till he filled his stomach up so full. So there are a lot of other things too that we need to look at in that area, but we don't need to go into it just in a simple answer to this. I ask God to forgive me for any mistakes in there, but I just wanted to bring that from a perspective of a person who didn't used to know. I, by the way, I used to be a vegetarian. And when I came to Islam, it was kind of strange for me. Now you want me to kill an animal? I didn't, I never killed an animal in my life and, and then eat it? I, I, but. I found that this is something that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did, and all the Prophets did. There wasn't any Prophet of God except that they knew how to slaughter animals, just like they know how to eat, they know how to go to the bathroom, they know how to sleep. All of these things are in Islam. It's a complete way of life. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil